Right, we have higher maths, the straight line. I'm just going to run over the first lesson on the straight line, which is looking at gradients. Uh, a lot of this we should know from National 5. So what do we know about the gradient? Well, the gradient is the slope or the steepness of a line. To calculate the gradient, we do y2 minus y1, which is the increase in the height, over x2 minus x1, which is the increase in the horizontal distance. You could also say up over long or rise over run. And if the equation of a straight line is written in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is a gradient, then c will be the y-intercept, the point on the y-axis where the straight line crosses. So here we go. Find the gradient of line join the points 5, 3, and 5, negative 10. So again, state the equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Negative 10 minus 3 over 5 minus 5. So that becomes negative 13 over 0. Now we can't divide by 0. That is negative 13 over 0 is like saying, how many zeros do we need to make negative 13? Well, even if we have an infinite amount of zeros, we've still got a zero in total. So we can't actually solve that. We'd say that's undefined. So that has not helped us find the gradient. So let's just have a think about what that means. So if we draw it, 5, 3 will be here. 5, negative 10 will be down here. We're just going to get a vertical line. You can see there that the x coordinate does not change, but the y coordinate does. We just have a vertical line. So if we have a vertical line, the gradient is undefined, i.e. we're dividing by zero. And the equation of a line like that will just be x equals. The reason why it's x equals is that the x coordinate is always the same. So when we're talking about the equation of a straight line or any sort of coordinate grid, when we write x, we mean the x coordinate. So on this line, the x coordinate is five. That's the best way to describe that line. Right, so another question. Find the gradient joining negative 2, negative 3, and 5, negative 3. Again, state the gradient formula, substitute in. This time we get 0 over 7. Now we can divide by 7. So if I have 0 divided by 7, I get 0. So what does a gradient of 0 mean? Well, let's have a quick look. Well, it turns out that as a horizontal line. So here, negative 2, negative 3, so height of negative 3, here we're 5, negative 3, still at height of negative 3. So the y coordinate has not changed. So in this case, we'd say y equals negative 3 would be the equation of the line. Not writing that in yet. Not writing in. Right, so what else do we know about gradients and straight lines? Well, parallel lines have the same gradient or the same steepness. And we also know that if a straight line has a positive gradient, it's going roughly northeast. And if it has a negative gradient, it's going roughly southeast. Or as we move from left to right, a positive gradient will move up. As we move from left to right, a negative gradient will move down. Right, have a go at question 3 to 7 from exercise 1A from your Heinemann textbook.